Hi guys, so today we are going to be working on the Sand Drift Scarf. It is a super lightweight and very soft um, scarf, perfect for the in-between seasons like spring or fall. And what you're going to need for this project are a size 3 yarn. Now the original yarn I used um, for this pattern when I wrote it was um, Yarn Be Soft and Sleek DK in the color linen, and you can see that here. But today, for this tutorial, I'm using Yarn Be Yarntopia. Now this is actually a size two yarn, but it feels quite similar to the Yarn Be Soft and Sleek DK to me, so I think it will work great. You will need an H five millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle. Now to get started, you are going to foundation double crochet 27. If you do not know how to foundation double crochet or you're not quite comfortable doing a whole row of it today, I will put instructions in um, text on this picture for how to start with a chain instead. All right, but in this video, we're gonna start with the foundation double crochet. You're going to chain three. Now we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook in that first chain, the third one from our hook. Yarn over and pull through one loop. Yarn over and pull through one loop again. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And that is our first foundation double crochet. Now you're gonna look for those, that V right here at the beginning. You're gonna yarn over and insert your hook into that V. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through one again. Now you're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have two foundation double crochets. We're going to look for that V up top, and yarn over, insert under those two loops of the V, yarn over and pull through one. Yarn over and pull through one. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. So you can see we're forming our foundation chain here and also our double crochets at the same time. So we're going to look again for that V. We're going to yarn over and insert into that V. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And we're just going to keep doing this until we have 27 foundation double crochets. Now you will notice that your work might curve a little bit, but that will straighten out as we work through the rest of the pattern. Okay, so once you have your 27 foundation double crochets, um, and the easiest way to count those is to kind of go to the right of your work over here and count along here. The crochet, double crochets are pretty easy to, to see in that direction. And to go on to our next row, we're going to chain six, and then turn our work. So this end is going to be the bottom, and we'll be working into this right side. So you're going to turn it this way, and we're going to quadruple treble crochet, which is a very tall stitch, into the same stitch. So to begin our quadruple treble, we're going to yarn over five times. So 
You can insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and pull through. Now you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through two loops. And we're just going to repeat that. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Until we get all the way to the end and have only one loop on our hook. All right, let's do that again into the next stitch. Yarn over five times. One, two, three, four, five. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. We repeat the yarn over and pull through two all the way to the end of the stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You notice I kind of hang on and shift the loops so that I kind of have the same tension throughout and so that the tall stitches don't get too loose and loopy. It can be a little tricky to kind of get your tension down on this these tall stitches, but um, with a little practice, you'll get it. All right, yarn over five times. We'll do that again. One, two, three, four, five. Insert your hook in the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. One. Now you'll yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over through two. Yarn over, pull through two all the way to the end of the stitch. Now we're going to repeat that in each stitch across so that you will have 27 quadruple treble crochets. Okay, so now once you have your 27 quadruple trebles, um, not counting that initial chain six at the beginning of the row, 27 of those, we will move on to the next row. You're going to chain two and turn. And then we're going to half double crochet in the same stitch and in each stitch across. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through. You should have three, hook, three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. And that is half double crochet. Now these stitches are going to be a little loose um, with that really tall stitch, but it'll tighten up as you go across. So into the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all three. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all three. And we are just going to continue that all along this row. Okay, once you have completed your row of half double crochets, we're going to repeat that row three more times for a total of four rows of half double crochets. So we're going to chain two, turn, and half double crochet into the same stitch. And in each stitch across for three more rows. All right, now once you have completed your four rows of half double crochets, we are going to repeat the quadruple treble crochet row. And um, I'm gonna remind you how to do that and then as you keep going, all you have now is a simple repeat of one quadruple treble row and four half double crochet rows. And we're going to keep repeating that up, alternating one quadruple treble crochet row and four half double crochet rows. So we're just going to keep continuing this repeat that we've done right here for the whole length of our scarf. Just keep going until you um, Feel like it's long enough for how you prefer your scarves and what you're going to want to do is end on a quadruple treble crochet row so i'm going to give you one more reminder of how to do that one so you're going to chain six turn 
yarn over five times. Insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and pull through, and then we yarn over and pull through two until we reach the end of the stitch. Do that again, yarn over five times, insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two till the end of that stitch when you have one more loop on your hook. All right, and we're gonna continue that down this row. Like I said, you're gonna complete this row and then do four more half double crochet rows after that and just keep alternating that pattern to the end. And um, I'm gonna show you how to end it once you stop with your last quadruple treble crochet row um, and do our last final row today. So now once you have continued with your repeats until your scarf is the length that you want it. Um, I'm going to show you on my small swatch here how to finish it off. You're going to end on a row of the quadruple trebles and then we're going to finish up with a row of double crochets just so that mirrors our initial row of double crochets at the very beginning. So we're going to chain two, turn, double crochet into the same stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. That's one double crochet and we're going to place a double crochet in each stitch across. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're just going to repeat that in each stitch to the end of this row. And so there you have your final row of double crochet. You're going to finish off, weave in your ends, and if you like, you can add some fringe. The fringe is really beautiful with this lightweight yarn. Um, very flowy, delicate. I love it online. All right, so here's the one that I made in full length. Very pretty, lightweight, soft, beautiful piece. Hope you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos.